1953, a lacrosse babysitter disappeared with hardly a trace. Her name was Evelyn Hartley. This story generated more interest than any of the others. Within 24 hours of our broadcast, police received 17 calls with information about the babysitter's disappearance. In May, the authorities went to Pickwick, Minnesota in search of a car that was reportedly buried with a body. Pickwick, Minnesota is located about 35 to 40 minutes northwest of La Crosse, just south of the river city of Winona, Minnesota. Whoever abducted Evelyn Hartley took her away in a car, never to be seen again. So why not the back bayous of Pickwick? Authorities felt they had no choice but to check it out. Roadblocks were already in place by 8.30 this morning. Authorities were letting no one into the dig site. From a ridge, you could see into White's Hollow, where just out of sight, authorities from both La Crosse and Winona County were searching for a buried car that, if found, might help solve the disappearance of Evelyn Hartley. The original tipster did, in fact, mention the Hartley case, but not much emphasis was put on it, and we, therefore, do not want to formulate opinions on something that we don't know is concrete. So we took the basic information, keeping that particular case in mind, of course, pursued as far as realistically possible. As we began to progress up the ladder, things kept falling into the place to where we actually got to the point where we, we knew, we knew for a fact that we had to unearth some, some turf, there's no doubt about it. The Pickwick Inn in Pickwick, Minnesota became the media center. Television stations from Minneapolis, Rochester, La Crosse, and Albert Lee were represented. Both Minneapolis newspapers were there and just about every radio station in the area. But after nearly five hours of digging, authorities gave up. Well, as you know, we started about 9.30 this morning uh, with a back hole, and we trenched in an area of approximately uh, 100 feet by 100 feet, where we believe this gully ran and the car allegedly was buried. Uh, we kind of crisscrossed it in a pattern and uh, dug test holes in various other places there and we were unable to come up with anything but rock and dirt. If we had to do the same thing all over again based on what we presently know, what we knew back in February, we'd have done the same thing, whether it was on this side of the river or the other side of the river. So there's no regrets there. It's just that uh, nothing was found. We feel as if uh, we've reached uh, the height of this particular ladder and we can't go any higher and, unless some more new information develops. They say they've done about as much as they can now with these new clues and without more information. The Pickwick connection will become nothing more than another chapter in the Evelyn Hartley story. In Pickwick, Minnesota, Steve Bothan, Action 8 News. It's just off the beaten path in a wooded area that at one time was a homestead of sorts built by a man named Percy Flynn. The remains of an old building still stand, but they lay rotting in ruins. It was near here in White's Hollow that investigators dug last May for a buried car, a car that some thought might contain the body of Evelyn Hartley. Well, as you know, we had a person in here with a backhoe, and our source had told us that the uh, site would probably be just a little ways from this building in the background here. And so we proceeded to dig a trench, probably couple hundred feet long, 150 feet long. Started up by that tree up there. We also did another one in here. We did another one in here. We did like four trenches in a Y-shaped pattern here and came up with nothing but rock and sand. You can still see where the trenches were dug. And the sheriff says he would have dug more if only it hadn't started to rain that day. He still has his suspicions that something is buried here and he has consulted old aerial maps that show a dramatic change in the topography over the past 35 years. Well, there's been numerous floods, and especially a big one in 1980 that took out the Pickwick Dam or area. And I'm sure it did a lot of changing of uh, topography in here, too, because there are parts of cars and things down the line from here, too, that may have been what the people saw. Mm -hmm. Another problem. This old building is not on the aerial map from 1954. And people who say a car is buried here say it was buried next to the building. So it's pretty much all over as far as Evelyn Hartley goes. In my opinion, uh, this site had nothing to do with Evelyn Hartley. 
something else, maybe, but... Well, that remains to be seen yet, too, I guess. In Pickwick, Minnesota, Steve Bothan, Action 8 News.